This will be just a brief review video to go over the scapula, its landmarks, and how to orient yourself to know whether it's right or left, or if it's posterior or anterior side that you're looking at. So the first structure that's going to help you the most that we want to start with is the glenoid cavity or glenoid fossa. So this is where your arm articulates, that's where the shoulder is. So that structure will always be lateral. So if we turn it lateral like this, that's good. So then we think maybe this is a left scapula. But then we have a problem because this is the spine of the scapula or scapular spine or simply the spine if you want to just call it that. And this will always be on the posterior side of the bone. So let's go ahead and turn that around. Now we have the glenoid fossa facing lateral and we're facing the anterior side of the scapula. And then we know that this is in fact a right scapula. Once you know that, you can figure out which border is which. So this right here the, is the axillary or the lateral border. This is the vertebral or the medial border because it's closer to the vertebrae. It's more medial in the body. This here is the superior border. And this is the superior angle. Down here we have the inferior angle. And if we turn the bone a little bit this way, we can see the scapular notch. And then if we go back, this area here is the subscapular fossa. The next two structures that are really important are these two right here. This is the coracoid process, and this is the acromion process. So the biggest difference between the two is that the acromion is a little bigger. It's attached to the spine of the scapula. And if we turn it this way, you can see right here, this is where it will articulate with the clavicle or the acromial end of the clavicle. So this is the acromion process and this is the coracoid process. Let's turn the bone around one more time. So this space above the spine here is, cons is called the supraspinous fossa and this is the infraspinous fossa. So supraspinous meaning above the spine, infraspinous meaning below the spine. I hope that was helpful and you're a little bit closer to being able to identify all these terms really easily. Good luck and happy studying.